Okay, continuing the voltage divider tutorial series. We're now in part 8, creating the PCB from the schematic. In the last tutorial, I ended by saying that I would show you how to correct errors from the error rule check, and I still have not found a way to do that because I haven't been able to create an error. So, I would say at this point, don't worry about that. And if you, if you get a an error, an actual error, I, I'd say there's probably something obviously wrong with your schematic and it should be pretty easy to fix or spot out. So, um, if I figure out how to get an error and to solve that, I will add that as kind of an extra tutorial um, at the end of the series. For now, let's move on to the second half of the tutorial series where we're going from the schematic to the board. And in this tutorial, we're going to learn the first step in transitioning from that, from schematic to board. Up at the top under your toolbar, um, there's a button called board. I'm hovering over it right now. There's a little logic gate on top of a an IC. Click this. It'll say that the voltage divider board does not exist. Would you like to create it from the schematic? Say yes. Immediately the board window will pop up and you should see the board on your right and your parts on your left. You can move around, um, navigate the same way you would in a schematic by using the mouse scroll wheel to zoom in and out. Hold it down to drag and move around. What we see here are the actual footprints um, of what's going to be manufactured in the board. The uh, the gray things are actually silk screens and kind of like a, um, as uh, an outline of what the part will look like. It's not supposed to be a, a 3D figure, but just kind of a a 2D silk screen of what it should look like. These are our standoff holes, standoffs. These are our resistors, and the yellow wires are our wires. Yellow lines are our wires. If you notice, my background is black, yours could be white. And I changed mine from white to black because it would be easier to see those wires. Yellow on white is not very easy to see, so if you want to change that, go up to Options here and click User Interface. And up at the top right, change from white to black. Should be easier to see now. Okay. Click the Save button and now you should be able to close it it should be saved if you want to get back to it just go ahead and click this board button and vice versa if you're in the board and you want to go to your schematic you can click that same button although it's dubbed schematic so if I click this it'll take me to the schematic there we go you can go back and forth like so so in the next tutorial, we'll learn how to change the board size, and we'll learn how to change the grid scale. What I mean by that is if I were to move this standoff, and you can see it jumps from position to position. Well, it's not as fine-grained as we would like if we were to actually place this in a very tight spot, a smaller board, which we're going to do in the next tutorial. And after that, we're going to learn how to put traces on, um, changing the wires into actual traces on board. And finally, we will end with the design rule check to um, make sure we don't have any errors before we send it off to be manufactured. Thank you, and see you in the next tutorial.